just passing by, wanderer? Or do you seek something specific? Who's asking? Rudolf de Jonkier. Of those de Jonkiers, yes. My ancestors laid the foundations of this city. I now own its largest bank. Didn't need a recommendation. Name would have been enough. Father always said, all ought to know your merit, son. Don't hide them under a bushel. I'm looking for Corrine Tilly. Oh, you've come to the right place, then. Corrine is inside. Been there for a few days, dreaming the home's history. Why do you need to know the house's history? You a historian, or on a whim? I bought this property a short while ago. Paid a pretty penny, I might add. Soon after, I witnessed... disturbances. Led me to fear the home might be haunted. What are the symptoms? Oh, they vary. Giggling in the night, and furniture moving about in the attic, and last week... Well, you shan't believe it. I found human feces in the park. Not interested in what's going on inside? Seeing it for yourself. I'm a banker. Cursed homes scare me. Do you know how a haunting can affect property value? Point of fact, Corinne requested she not be disturbed. I'd like to go inside, look around. I don't usually let strangers rummage around my home. Twin swords, though. You're a witcher. You may enter, call that my whim. The truth is, we're already... Stop! Go away! Don't do that! Leave it! Wake up. It's just a dream. Wake up. The doll. The attic. That's blood! Don't spill it! Please! Stop! Go away! Don't do that. Leave it! Where are the next rooms blocked? stuff. A doll. Drawing shows it lying in a cradle. Maybe I should find one. Please. 
Another masterpiece. An oven and a blackened grate. Oh joy. A riddle. Guess I should find an oven. Stop! Go away! Don't do that! Leave it! Scared of wee little Sarah. Ain't that funny? I wouldn't do that anymore if I were you, Sarah. You might scare someone so bad they'll hurt you. Why would someone hurt me? Having a spot of fun's not allowed anymore. What are you playing? That lady fell asleep, and I've sent her some horrible dreams. I'll not her wake neither. I can do that, you know. Funny, isn't it? Very funny. Thing is, I gotta talk to the dreamer. So I'd like you to let her wake up. Little Sarah doesn't want her to wake. Little Sarah wants to play. You're lucky. I know you're a harmless godling, but others might not know, and then... And how'd you know I'm a godling, eh? How's that, eh? Eh? If it looks like one and acts like one, trust me, you're a godling. You give the dreamer nightmares and won't let her wake up. Why are you tormenting her? I'm not tormenting anyone. Scary dreams are great. What I love is when this big hen chases me. Hen's got these red... Why do you live in a haunted house? Tell you a secret. <laughs> the house ain't haunted. Not one bit. I just pretend it is. Make everyone think that. It was sitting there all empty. So I moved in. Bigwig from the bank then came and bought it. I don't like bankers. Especially not to live with... So I decided to give him a scare. Gave the banker a really big scare. See, he paid a lot for this house and won't give it up easily, which is why you need to find another home. I don't want to! I don't! I won't! Sarah, Novigrad's no place for a godling. But if you want to live here, that's your business. So let's make a deal. A deal? What kind? Leave the dreamer alone. In exchange, I'll tell the banker the house is haunted. For good, no way to lift the curse. You tell him that? What if he doesn't believe you? I'm a witcher. He'll believe me. Yes? 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 Do that and I promise not to bother your friend. Not even a little. You're awfully nice, you know. I don't hear that often. Thanks. Now go wake that sleepyhead. I won't stop her. She'll get up. Who are you? Triss Marigold sent me to see you. Gods. Horrible nightmares. I was supposed to dream the history of this house. Instead, I saw furniture. Hungry furniture that wished to devour me. I know it must sound foolish. But in the dream... Well, it was all too real. And not at all amusing. The work of a godling. She made people believe the house was haunted. Also injected your dreams with her little jokes. And you managed to wake me. I feel fortunate. We witchers have our ways. I thank you very much. The dreams, they were awful. Any way I can pay you back? There is, actually. I'm looking for a young woman who was seen in Novigrad. I can certainly try to help. But I'll need to clear my head first. After those deranged dreams, I feel it's full of cobwebs. Find me at the Golden Sturgeon. 
I rent a room there. All right. See you there. I saw Miss Corrine leave, but she refused to speak to me. Is the matter resolved? Or quite the opposite? A bit of both. A demon had captured Corrine. I managed to free her, but the house is still haunted. Did Corrine dream of the building's past? Yeah. Pretty horrid, apparently. Though she refused to talk about it. Nobody should inhabit the place. So many crowns I paid. Oh, well. It shan't put me in the poorhouse. The truth is, we're already dependent on the black ones. Economic. Sick. Sick of it all. Fuck me. Non-human, are you? Look for your kind beyond the woods. like this before, let alone participated. I will guide you. You must first achieve a kind of mental accord. I must ask some questions. You must answer them. It's important you're truthful. Answer from your heart. Your gift. Tell me how it works. It's hard to describe. To start with, I must gain an understanding of the bond between the person and the object I'm to dream about. I ask questions, try to flesh out feelings, emotions. Truth is essential in this. And though most who come to me acknowledge that, many refuse to speak openly of certain matters. Apart from which, they remain unaware of others, further obscuring things. What do you see in your dreams? I don't. It's my client who sees. My gift lies in summoning the right dreams. At times, nightmares or strong desires impose themselves on true events. It takes skill to separate seed from chaff. Let's begin. To start with, tell me a memory you have of this woman. What for? Do as I ask, please. I need the strongest, most complete memory you have of... Siri. The woman's name is Siri. Siri was orphaned during the Second War with Nilfgaard. I had no idea what to do with a young girl. So I did what I would have done with a boy and took her to Kaer Morin. Figured some physical training, sword work, development of her stamina couldn't hurt. I remember her standing on a crumbling wall. A stone came loose, she lost her footing. Caught her at the last possible instant. Strongest memory, though, is of her coming out of her room one day, wearing a dress and claiming she was indisposed. Knew then that Siri was maturing. It was unavoidable. 
I was lost in the face of that. I see. Do you wish to tell me anything more? No. Let's continue. You claim the woman has abilities. Tell me about them. She's a child of the Elder Blood. A descendant of Bloody Falcon. The rebel burned at the stake. The prophecies claim the world's destroyer will be born of the Firebrand's cursed blood. Pure legend. No one a legend transforms into prophecy. When it gains believers. I think you're right to be reticent in talking about the woman. I see. Do you wish to say more? Yeah. There's something else. Let's continue, please. Make yourself comfortable and try to relax. You must take my hand and talk of Siri. Tell me where you think she might be. Who could be at her side? Mm -hmm. If Siri couldn't find me, I'm sure she would have looked for another friend. Who do you mean? Maybe Dandelion. They liked each other a lot. of a swallow at first. After that, just nightmares. At times, the dreams can multiply. Show the past as well as the future. The swallow. It symbolizes Siri. She contacted Dandelion. I didn't know he was in town. The poet? Heard about him. Someone left him the Rosemary in Time in their will. The Rosemary in Time? Where's that? As you enter the city through the Red Light District, you come upon a bridge. The Rosemary is just past it. Dandelion inherited a brothel? So I've heard. Thanks for your help. Good luck, Witcher. I hope you find your Siri. Some fellas out, Master. We're a bit of coin short another round. Cause we're comrades, see? Witcher, ain't you? We're butchers. You slaughter, we slaughter. Except witchers are law. 
Old villagers pitching, lords out with their purses. Ladies do like with their legs. Guess I've been to the wrong villages, dealt with the wrong lords and ladies. Come on, don't make us beg. What's the wish you're for, anyways? It's to help men in need. You boys look tired. Probably ought to go home now. Well, how long we've been drinking now? Two days. Well said, Master. A home we will go. This drink for its nearly night. Ah, to hell with it. The water's gonna rise. God, the reapers come for me. Next time I'll rip your fucking legs off and shove them up your ass till you've toes for teeth. Gear up in the nick of time, as always. Zoltan. With your boot to someone's ass, as always. Who were those men? Local color. I wasn't they going more than a moment. Long enough for them to turn our home into theirs. All right, time for some spring cleaning. I've got to boot them all out. Care to join me? With pleasure. Each other like the gods of the ages, pal. Hey, Zoltan, you look good. Training plenty lately. What with the war on, no Mahakaman meat to be found, but Redanian laggers standing in just fine. You, though, you've weathered a bit. Something worrying you. It's about Siri. I know she came to Novigrad. Might still be here. You mean she's come back? I'll be damned. I wonder if I'd recognize her. How many years is it now? Six? Seven? But what'd she be doing here? Hiding, probably. She might be in danger. See her in your dreams? Couple times. Her and the Wild Hunt. Oh, not good. Not at all. But I know she came here and contacted Dandelion. We have a wee problem, then. Where's Dandelion? <laughs> I'd like to know that myself. Maybe he could explain what the hell's going on. I just barely returned, as you saw. I'm expecting to come home to a hot leg of boar and some cold ale. What do you find instead? A shite storm. Dandelion gone, the tavern chock full of bums. I've no clue what happened. Let's look around. Might find something that'll put us on his trail. Prime idea. 
I say we start on the ground floor. It's where he sat and wrote. From the finest vineyards, every last one. No. Aha! A note from a grateful muse. Reading someone else's letters. My visage red and hot. I plunged into purest ecstasy, imbibing it. Huh. This the loot he got from the elves of Dolbathana. Aye. Must have been in a great rush to leave it behind. Annual balladry contest. Silver Laurel awarded to Master Dandelion. Prince Heriwind himself did the honors, and the feast afterwards, to celebrate the laureates. Dandelion taught a spite to Yodel, and I... Ugh, another time. The faculty of Oxenford University is honored to grant Julian Alfred Pankratz, Viscount de Letinov, the title of Master of the Seven Liberal Arts. Keep forgetting he's got that damn fool name. of Toussaint Dry, five cases of sodden triple mead. Hmm, nothing here. No, 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 that's exactly what we're looking for. It says planner. Huh, dandelion and planning, good one. Besides, anything he wrote here probably had a special system. Chaos only he could ever decipher. Actually, in the past, sometimes not even that. Give him a chance. Might not be that bad. Seems when he inherited this fine establishment, it came with some fine responsibilities. Bookkeeping among them. He also made a habit of noting down the times of his meetings, official and private. So, who'd he been seeing of late? Ah, here it is. Hmm. Seems he's only been meeting women of late, the dog. Zoltan, please. You really want to track down the women Dandelion's been wooing? Most likely all angry women by now. Got any better ideas? Besides, Dandelion's a babbler. They're sure to know something of his doings. Hmm. We should divide these somehow. Perhaps... Ah, fuck it. I'll ask the lassies in my half, you interrogate the ones in yours. Suit you? Zoltan, wait. This is in verse. And you figure that's unnatural because? Wonderful. Meet me back here when you're done. Share our findings. Right you are. Need to do a wee bit of tidying for a go. Cannot stomach the idea of coming back to this mess. And you'd be wise to read your bit before you scurry off. If you need anything, I'll be next door.
Maybe, maybe not. Maybe go fuck yourself. Julia claims you agreed to pay. I will get you every last copper. With interest. Give me a week, please. Horson's no banker. He's an honest man. You pay on time, you get protection. You don't pay. Help! What you hollering for, stupid wench? What are you hoping for? A knight in shining armor? Close enough. Keep out of this, Greyhead. Not your concern. This spewler has got someone else's protection now. Really? Who's that be? The King of Beggars made a deal with Junior. This is his turf now. Didn't hear nothing about that. But you have heard what Bedlam does to people who cross him. Or you need a demonstration? Come on, Fritz. Boss wants it that way. It's how it's gotta be. Thank you. Oh, thank you. To think there are men who'll help a stranger out of the kindness of their hearts. Not entirely out of kindness, and you're not entirely a stranger. What are you? Oh, I know you. You're that witcher took Dandelion out whoring. Gerald, right? Not Gerald. Gerald. Oh. Dreadful sorry. Explain something if you don't mind. You say I took Dandelion out whoring. So he said. Claimed I was his one and only. But he fell in with the wrong folk. You and that dwarf who always looks like a cow licked him. Said you two were a bad example. Wine, women. Song. He picked that habit up from us too. Gotta have a word with him. What do you think? Where could Dandelion be? Probably out whoring. That horse pheasant. That lion scoundrel. Ouch. What did he do to get your goat? Same thing as ever. Prize bullshitter came back, saying it was till death do we part this time. And no more than a week passed before I spotted him in Harborside, strolling with some trollop on his arm. It was the last straw. All those questions about the washerwomen at the bathhouse, then this. I beat him black and blue and threw him out on his ear. Dandelion ask you about other washerwomen? Not terribly subtle, even for him. Maybe he likes some sudsy. Ah, uh, maybe. But what did he ask about, exactly? Oh, this and that, really. What's it like at the bathhouse? Have I got any friends there? What are their working hours? I don't know. Maybe he's looking to hire one for his tavern. Maybe I got all in a huff for no reason. This woman he was with in the harbor. Who was she? Claimed she was his niece from Covia. Ha! <laughs> Horvia, more likely. Corset so tight her eyes were popping out her head. His too, come to think of it. An artist or a whore. Doesn't much matter as they're one in the same. Thanks for your help. Listen, when I find Dandelion, anything I should tell him? No. I mean, tell him he's a two faced snake, but it would be nice if he dropped by. For Elial. You've come to the right spot. How might I be of service? Need something shortened? Patch your trousers, darn your socks. You, Elial? Yes. Now pick your jaw up off the floor. Sorry, I thought. Thought Elial was one of Dandelion's girlfriends. Ah, oh, so it's that. Wait here. Any better? So you are... Elihal. Did you and Dandelion... I mean... 
How did you two meet? I met him one night in a tavern. He was blind drunk. What happened? What do you think? We spoke. That's it. I'm not sure what you're getting at, but I should make one thing clear. Men don't interest me. Told him that as well. Luckily, Dandelion's an open-minded fellow. We had a lovely evening. He became a loyal customer afterwards. Dandelion visit your shop often? I tried many times to talk him into a decent doublet. Sadly, he'd only come in to get a button reaffixed or a hole patched. When did you last see him? Some time ago. He brought in one of Zoltan's jerkins, insisted I sew on an extra pocket. Odd, as requests go, I had the distinct feeling he'd actually come to talk. What did you and Dandelion talk about? He asked about anything in particular? Hmm, let me think. Had an ordinary chat, really. Although... Indeed, he did keep asking about Kalkstein. If Dandelion and I hadn't laid our cards on the table at the start, I might have suspected he had a history with the alchemist. He spoke like a lovesick beau. In fact, he desperately wished to meet with him. Kalkstein's in Novigrad? Wouldn't mind seeing him myself. You're too late, I fear. The witch hunters nabbed him recently, burned him at the stake in Hierarch Square. But as he perished, ooh, the goings on, impressive. Fiery beasts circled his pyre, then rose into the sky and exploded to form letters. Really? What did they spell? Radovid sucks flaccid cock. I know this is none of my business, but why do you... Why do I dress up? As a child, I dreamt of becoming a Doppler when I grew up. I became a tailor instead. Discovered clothing. Costumes can express all the complexities of one's personality. I'm a Redanian countess one day, a dockside thug the next. That is true freedom. Mm -hmm. Have you never thought to become someone else? Even for a moment? Must be horribly boring being a witcher all the time. I managed to stay interested. Thanks for your help, and uh, nice to meet you. I can help with much more. If you need new trousers or a vest, you know where to find me. Children and fish don't get what they wish. Excuse me, I'm looking for Marabella. I am she. Wait outside, class is in session. I'll wait. It won't take long. It turns out he'll not come after all. Why not? A rat bit him, and he's caught a fever. Where'd you get bit? It hurt got him a much. monster under me left. Today I saw a 
chance and tell a man, you rat, and then he killed him. Liar. That's enough. Do We're done for the day. Gather your please, things and go home. Please. I wonder if the rat catcher will get well. Like as not. How do you know? Mum says that if he but catches a cough, he's as good as he Now can we talk? Yes. What do you want? I know you saw Dandelion recently. Oh, yes. Longest afternoon of my life. He read you his poems. No. He perused the illustrated guide to fungi. Hmm. Maybe. No. Won't even try to guess why he wanted to do that. Mold. That was his interest. When his hand abandoned my knee to point at a figure of penicillium, I knew the fire between us had died. Permanently. See Dandelion after the fungus incident? No. I even considered granting him another chance. His heart of hearts is pure gold. He simply needs a bit more discipline in his life. But he never came back to see me. So I thought if it's done, it's done. Thanks for your help. Farewell. That is a witch hunter. He chases old crumbs. Arms, arms for bread. Right of it, one of those. Guy, not like that. Draw it out, boy. Suspicious to me, Tramp. <laughs> well, well, another freak. <laughs> this Baronet's love of Let's Villa. Shouldn't interest you. The Baroness don't mingle with just anyone. Don't worry. I'm here to see your chambermaid, Molly. Out of the way. Baroness is riding out. Be gone. Geralt of Rivia at my doorstep? Surely this is no chance encounter? Greetings, Baroness. Greetings, General. You're right. I'm here for a reason. There's no mistaking you. But for etiquette's sake, Mary Louisa Lavalette. An Imperial General and a Witcher meet, and know each other. Surprising. We've met before. And how? Imagine this, Louisa. The Emperor desired a chat with the Witcher. I, too, was fortunate enough to meet him then. Hmm. So Geralt of Rivia now works for Emperor Emir. Interesting. Has Var Emery sent you to rid Novigrad of monsters? Looking for a girl named Molly. Heard she works here. My maidservant. I'm afraid she's currently at the home of my dear friend Patricia Vagelbun. Perhaps Geralt could accompany us. He could speak with Molly at the races. Is that something you'd consider, Witcher? Care to partake of some sophisticated diversion? Well, if Molly will be there. On our way then. We've arrived. My father owned a similar estate in Bruges. As a young girl, I'd travel there often to ride. Shall we look at the horses? Do you like horses, Geralt? I guess so. Called every horse I've had Roach. The Grey Mare is Cantarella, sired by Cahir, the champion from Vol. Grey's a nice color for horses, too. My coin's on the Black Stallion, Nemrot, purest Nilfgaardian stock. Surprised he didn't salute you, General.
Know anything about the chestnut or the bay? The chestnut is Thunderbolt, a pure blood retaining, gallant steed, but too headstrong for my taste, difficult to control. And the bay hails from Zericania. Lord de Volte acquired him recently. I know little about him, though Zericanians are reputed to have incredible stamina. Is Molly a horse? Pardon? I did come here to see Molly after all. Patience, Witcher. She ought to arrive soon. I asked Molly to join us as soon as she was done with her chores. She shouldn't be long now. All depends what you asked her to do, my lady. But I don't really have a choice. I'll wait. Seem to know your horses. No is not the word. Morvran's a true expert. I find them to be far more honest than men. Must say, I'm curious how you manage in the saddle, Witcher. Mostly just try to stay in it. What would you say to a little race? Not what I came here for. Don't make me beg, Witcher. Tell you what, win, and I shall give you my finest saddle, made in Nilfgaard proper of beautifully tanned leather. Why not? Wouldn't mind seeing if your knowledge of horses translates into riding skills. Well said. So, which steed do you choose, Witcher? Radovid's encamped nearby. Redanian Chestnut might want to impress its king. I'll not ride with you, but I shall bet on a steed. Nemrod will win, no matter the rider. Cantarella for me, then. I see no point in delaying this. Let's begin. Riders ready! Let's Move see What a thrill! A beautiful victory! Thanks. For one for whom every horse is a roach, you carry yourself exquisitely in the saddle. My congratulations. That is yours. Now, could I talk to your chambermaid, milady? Ah, yes, Molly. That is why you came here, after all. The portly young woman. That's her. Speak to her. And you must find us when you're ready to return to Novigrad. We'd be delighted to join you for the journey. Well, well, another freak. <laughs> I'm Molly, my lord. Wish to see me? Call me Geralt. Geralt? That Geralt? The one Dandelion's rescued time and time again. Mm-hmm. Wouldn't be here if not for Dandelion. Told me all about your adventures. How he'd ready you for battle with his songs. How he tamed the Cairn by playing his lute. I meant that literally. Dandelion's why I'm here. Came to ask you about him. Know where he might be? No. Sadly, I haven't got a clue. We've not seen each other in ages. The Baroness don't approve of our acquaintance. Says Dandelion's a good-for-nothing layabout. Can you imagine? But... <laughs> or maybe his sister could help you. Such a nice girl.
Any chance you remember your last conversation with Dandelion? Of course. He came to borrow some coin for a barge. What? Why do you need a barge? To take me on a romantic cruise of the canals by the light of the moon. Said there'd be strawberries and that wine with the bubbles, and he'd sing me arias. But I've not seen him since. You do realize Dandelion doesn't have a sister? Sure he does. Saw him myself. Funny, she don't look like him at all. Blonde, for starters. Maybe they're different fathers. Mm-hmm. Different mothers, too. Maybe. But you could see he cares for her, looks after her, the way he carried her packages and... Know where I can find her, Dandelion's sister? I know. Whenever I ask Dandelion when we visit her, he'd grow all quiet and then change the subject. Thanks, Molly. Wait. Before you go, I've got a request. Dandelion told me once he'd show me his etchings, but he never did. I'd so like to see him. Won't be too hard to convince him. He loves showing off those etchings to anyone he can. Oh, that's wonderful! Thanks, and good luck to you on your search. Ah, Geralt, there you are. Shall we return together? Gladly. It's a long way to Novigrad. Road ought to seem shorter with some company. I'd say the same. Well then, let's go. And here we are. Thank you for your company. Likewise. See ya. This morning, my friend came back from the market with you. Ah, Geralt! What can I do for you? Big changes afoot in the Empire. You've no notion? The Emperor summoned you. He only ever summons with reason. It's clear he seeks his daughter. You know a lot. I must. I am my father's son. What's your father got to do with this? Um, he is close to the Emperor. And knows the opposition. Knows they press for abdication. Ceding the throne to Cyrilla, it's the best the Emperor can do. But, as is known, an Empress needs an Emperor at her side. My father will ensure the right man is chosen. Farewell. Mark my words, I'm looking for it. It's not a knife, that's a claw. I need a belt. I want to see this. The day is coming off. Not built. Every time I hear something from a sorcerer's scout. Did you catch him? What do you want? Want to see Rosa for Atra. Oh, mate, if you only knew what I want. Miss Rosa don't see just anybody. I'm Geralt of Rivia, a witcher. Soon as Miss Rosa turns into a striker, I'm sure her papa will send for you. But she's not showing any symptoms yet, so I venture you're not needed. On your way now. Tolerance and superstition have always been a fool's reason. Radovid's not a whit better than Amir. Back again, we worse.
Well, well, another freak. Fancy men like me, whole town's going on about it. So no point playing hard to get, sugar puss. It's Lady Varatra to you. And I'd advise you to sod off. Who are you? Why are you here? Answer this instant or I'll summon the guards. Ah, sorry to sneak in, miss. I'm Geralt, a friend of the Bard Dandelion. <gasps> Geralt of Rivia? The famed Witcher of the Ballads? What are you doing here, Vagrant? How'd you get in? I, I let no one in the front, my lady. I swear it on the great sun. Not a word. I'll handle this. Hold your tongue, sir. This... This is Frederick Francis de Bergerac, my new swordplay instructor, correct? Show him to the training room. I shall join him shortly. But my lady, he's a witcher. Said so himself, back by the gates. Captain. Do you truly believe Rosa for Artra would train with random clods calling themselves swordmasters? No. The Var Artras demand the very best. Thus, we've hired a witcher. Take him to the training room. Now. As you say, miss. Realize what you've got yourself into. Hope so too. Miss Rose has got a downright beastly temper. Shows no mercy once she grips a sword. Grab a wooden one. Take care not to hurt him. Much as the ambassador, follow me. Instructor? Well, well, Papa clearly went out of his way this time. Wood, to start with. I must know your worth. your swordplay instructor. Really? Then who are you? And how on earth did you get in? Am I imagining things? Didn't we just have this conversation in the garden? The garden? Yes, yes, in the garden. So what was it you said? Why are you here? Before I ask, gotta admit, you do pretty well with a sword. One pointer. Don't expose your left flank when you dodge. Oh, I know. Terrible habit. Can't seem to get rid of it. I'd hope to find someone in Novigrad who could help me to do so. But... 
don't you dare try to dazzle me with advice. Already admitted you're not here to give me lessons. Came to ask about your rhetoric tutor, Dandelion. Rhetoric tutor? Good one. That is why Papa hired him, but not at all what the Bard had in mind. He mostly played his lute and sang for us. I believe he thought he was wooing. Mean he wasn't? But you had some sort of relationship? If you call him chasing after me a relationship. Even so, there was nothing between us. Seems my sisters had a bit of fun at our expense. But enough chatter. Stand and fight. I demand a rematch. Too late to surrender. Fancy giving me a few private lessons? Can't rightly refuse a request from a lady. What are you two lovebirds whispering about? You asked about my relationship with Dandelion? Well, here's the mix-up's mastermind. Edna Va Artra, the greatest mischief maker north or south of the Yoruga. Hang on. So it was you in the garden. Of course it was me. Why, did Rosa try to play you for a fool? Don't be mad. We've done this since we were children. People have always mistaken us for one another. Take a dandelion did too. On occasion, yes. But then Rosa would quickly set him straight. If you'd shut your catty mouth for a moment, dear little sister, I could explain. Edna sent Dandelion some love letters. She signed my name. Conceited as he is, naturally he fell for it. I was left to repel the aging bard's advances. Rosa, I had the best of intentions, you know that. I felt you needed help taking the first step. You blushed every time he sang a ballad. He'll next sing at your funeral if you don't stop it right now. Calm down, ladies. No poet's worth two sisters nipping at each other's throats. Especially not this one. Listen, I just want to know one thing. Either of you seen Dandelion lately? Edna might have. I certainly have not. My dear sister, I would never spend time alone with a man for whom you burn with a secret passion. Burn with passion? For one who incessantly praises another woman's talents? Afraid I've more sense than that. Bet sophisticated young ladies like you know a bunch about politics. We've picked up a few things. What would you like to know? Emperor continuing to push north. Courtiers must be ecstatic. His confidants must be. But Papa says that's not likely to last much longer. Why not? Papa says the war is disrupting trade, and people are tired of financing the Emperor's adventures. Wonder how the war is going. Any outcome looming? Papa says much depends on Radovid, and on who captures Novigrad first. What's Novigrad got to do with it? Free city. Never taken sides. Always stayed out of conflicts. Oh, even children know Novigrad's home to the world's largest fleet. And they say the city's treasury is bursting with enough to equip two armies. Changing subjects. Dandelion act any different lately? Notice anything strange? Strange? Not really. It's no use, Geralt. She's so enamored, she'd hardly notice if he turned into a werewolf. Edna! What? You needn't pretend he followed convention. Remember when he took us to the cemetery? Rhetoric lessons in a cemetery. Unusual even for Dandelion. We set out to visit the graves of celebrated Oxenford professors. He ended up quizzing us about Margrave Henkel. Who? Eccentric old coot. 
died recently. He'd apparently been an important and generous patron of the arts as a young man. Who'd Dandelion sing about? Know anything about her? I believe she's a poetess, or Trebaritz. Very skilled and exceptionally talented, of course. This woman. Not a local, right? Hmm. I seem to remember him praising her melodious Kaviri accent. Makes sense. He referred to her as Kalonetta a few times. Bizarre names are common in Kavir. Gotta ask Zoltan about this Kalonetta. Been a pleasure, but I've got stuff to take care of. Exceedingly nice to meet you. Please come again. Well, can I expect any more lessons in future? Awfully convincing, miss. Wonder where you learned it. Name the time and place. How's here, tomorrow? Same time as today. See you then. See you, Master Witcher. worked up quite the appetite. <laughs> They're starving in this evening, you know. They eat horse cars. Not your lucky day. Poppy, you have to stop talking any day now. That Field Marshal Duda's replacement? The Marshal was a parrot, you do remember, right? Where'd you get her? At auction. Some mage's estate went under the hammer. Witch hunters and the eternal fire joined forces, staked out his place and rounded the sorry sap up. Put his things up for sale. Happened to be passing by and saw this out. Came with her own cage. How could you resist? Could they? It weren't possible. Ah, but dandelions what matters now. So, how'd you do? Learn much? 
Women on my list hadn't seen Dandelion in a while. All claimed he had been acting strange. Also mentioned he'd been seeing someone else. Thing is, Mystery Woman wasn't on my list. What's she supposedly like, this mess? Blonde, from Kovir. A Troberitz, apparently, named Kalanetta or something like that. Uh, that makes it clear as crystal. It's Priscilla. Aye. Must be her. Who's this Priscilla? A Troberitz, like you said. Quite popular of late. Picks up Dandelion with a pair of tits and you've got the general idea. Interesting image. So how Dandelion handled meeting his female double? I think he fell in love. What can I say? Could be he finally met his match. She's his match, all right. Maybe more. Laddie's head's on fire. Lassie's got him whirling. All right. Guess we gotta talk to her. Priscilla works for the Mummers Troop. Reynard and the Fox. Never there in town, she performs nightly at the Kingfisher. You mean we've been sentenced to an evening of poetry? Must you always? This will be true poetry, Geralt. You'll see. Eternal fire, why me? Got my eye on you. One, one. Yeah, no. That'll say I'm right now. Like dung that flows to sewers, so the worst scum flows into no regret. Sorceresses, then. Walking about all door faced, scaring decent folk. Here already. Come on, let's find some arse rests. Should start soon. Wolf 
I will follow into the storm to find your heart, its passion displaced by our ever growing, hardening into stone amidst the cold to hold you in a heated embrace. You flee, my dream come the morning. Your scent, berries tart, lilac sweet. To dream of raven locks and twisted stormy, of violet eyes glistening as you weep. I know not if fate would have us live as one or if by love's blind chance we've been bound the wish i whispered when it all began did it forge a love you might never have found you flee my dream come the morning your scent very star lilac sweet to dream of raven locks and twisted stormy of violet eyes glistening as you boys back at White Orchard. Silence, woman. We've come to hear music. A murderer? There's a war on. Some die. Oh, please, argue this out elsewhere. Squabbles and rows again. And I was told this was a decent establishment. If I know Geralt, he risked his noggin to save someone else's arse. Save, you say? He murdered folk. Don't let him provoke you. There's the door. Settle this outside. Come. I wish to listen to music. Music? Cultural capital of the world? The fuck it is. It permits me to introduce uh, this year's Priscilla known also as Calanetta, as lovely as she is talented. And this... Is Geralt of Rivia, I know. Dandelion's told me a great deal about you, and I've listened with bated breath. Don't be surprised. After all, doubt I could think of a more fitting subject for a ballad than a witch's love for a sorceress. Or should I say, sorceresses. There's a good reason I don't pour my heart out to bards. They always babble, as you just demonstrated. But listen, besides giving you the details of my affairs, did Dandelion mention his own plans, where he might be going? <laughs> Splendid. Very funny, truly. So, see you later. Not here. Come with me. There a reason for all this sneaking around? An excellent one. When last I saw Dandelion, he told me he was planning a heist. Siggy Reuben's vault? Shoot him. And I've not seen him since. Reuben. What's he like? Tall, fat, dangerous as hell. Limp in his gait. Left leg. Sounds like a lame rock troll. If trolls were devilishly intelligent and had a flair for crime, yeah, I'd agree. Dandelion breaking into a vault. 
I'd sooner expect him to choose a life of celibacy. True. <laughs> Forgot to pay for his wine at the Passa Flora once. I'm laid awake the next three nights worrying about it. Any idea what got into him? He have debts he needed to pay off? He claimed he was helping someone. Urgent matter that couldn't wait, he said. This someone, Dandelion mentioned their name? No. But if I know Dandelion, it's her name he failed to mention. As he failed to mention her slender waist and ample bosom. Let me guess. Attempted heist was a failure. Well, he's not driven up in a gilded carriage laden with jewels, so I should think so. I've asked after him everywhere, but it seems an army of tongue-stealing cats has overrun the city. I learned only that he raised a ruckus at Horson Jr.'s lair. Then Horson's men chased him all over town. Horson Jr. doesn't ring a bell. Biggest prick in Novigrad. Not literally, but... Got it. You're not a fan. But what did he do to you? Try the whole town. He's one of four bosses who control the city's underworld. The others being Siggy Rubin, Carlo the Cleaver Vares, and the King of Beggars. The rascal. At least they didn't cross the church as well. Bring that venerable institution into it. We'll be in deep then. Here I go again, rushing to Dandelion's rescue. He ought to pay me a salary. Wherever he is, I sincerely doubt he's in the mood for jokes. Nor am I, in fact. Relax. I'll get him out of this. Gotta talk to this Horson first. And Siggy Reuven. Know where I might find them? I don't know about Horson, but Reuven runs a bathhouse. Careful, though. He's a dangerous character. So am I. I don't doubt it. But Dandelion's not. I beg you to hurry. Let me know as soon as you learn anything. Well, the bugger all to do here. Heading back to the Rosemary. Got Poppy to meet. And then I suppose I'll wait. See if our warbler don't come home on his own. Take care now.